Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien today. He will be back tomorrow. Let's take a look at everything. We are up modestly today. Yes, trading about 0.64%. Russell Futures trading at about 0.69%. NQ about 0.76%. YM trading at 0.68% as well. The gold contract staying pretty solid here at 1984. Uh, we had that big run up last week and earlier this month. It was pretty fantastic uh, for gold. Silver at 2310. Uh, Copper futures at 363. This metal has been having a hard time recently, and we'll talk just a little bit about that. I do think on the long term, we'll see some movement in it. Um, but as it stands now, currently, I think in the short term and really in the next few years, it's still going to be kind of a struggling metal here. Uh, we have light Swede crude futures trading at about uh, 83.64, down about 2.16% today. Everything that's going on uh, in Gaza and Israel is putting people kind of on uh, edge with that. Then, of course, we have the Brent crude that can load up, trading about uh, down 2% today. Let's take a look here. Tesla, we'll talk a little bit about them. They had a big sell-off uh, last week um, from two, about 65 all the way down to just just above 200. And we're trading at 215 right now. Steel Dynamics uh, reaching that um, kind of support zone at 101.81. We have the dollar at 106.27. That's staying pretty constant in that 106 area as well. Hoping for a breakdown below the 105 to 104, but we're not getting that. Um, so, you know, on a long term, that's something to keep in mind uh, if you're in the market in general, especially with gold as well. Uh, QQQ trading at 358, Google at 139, Meta at 312. So Meta is actually being sued by a few U.S. states. Let me see if I can pull up this uh, story real quick. Essentially, some of the U.S. states are accusing Meta of basically designing an algorithm that is uh, very addictive in nature is designed to. Um, they're not doing a good enough job of keeping uh, children off of the platform. And this is causing depression, anxiety, and insomnia in children. And, you know, I will say too, I wasn't on, I don't really use social media, but I did recently create an Instagram account just so I could save some pictures on there um, that I wanted to keep uh, for the long term and just keep uh, up with some of my friends that don't live in the state. I've been on in two years, and getting back on there, I mean, there's plenty of accounts on there that obviously look like they are uh, owned by children, and the content uh, that they're consuming and what they're saying is insane. I mean, being like, you know, 15, some of this stuff I had never even considered. And there seems like there really is, you, you can look on TikTok as well, because a lot of young folk are on there as well, um, and the mental illness is is rampant on that. So it's pretty intense. It's dozens of U.S. states are suing meta platforms. Let me pull it up here. Uh, and it's Instagram unit accusing them of contributing to a youth mental health crisis through the addictive nature of their social media platforms. Uh, in a complaint filed in Oakland, California on Tuesday, 33 states, including California and Illinois, said that meta, which operates Facebook, has misled the public about substantial dangers of its platform and knowingly induced young children and teenagers into addictive and compulsive social media use. It's pretty intense, guys. Um, I mean, there is even, I was talking with someone, they're asking if I had a TikTok. Tiger Financial News Network is on TikTok. However, if you guys wanna check that out, we also have our shorts on YouTube, but that's about where I'm gonna interface with TikTok personally. Um, but there were kids developing like Tourette's tics from it. Um, and what I mean is, they were. it's called Tourette's talk, right? And it's just individuals who uh, suffer from this they're, you know, talking about kind of the nature of the disease, and uh, it saw a lot of young folks starting to to emulate them, right? Uh, I don't think we're fully aware of the psychology of, uh, of young folk at this point, and that's going to change, I think, in the next coming years, especially since we're so interconnected um, with social media and uh, so much, uh, you know, content that prior wasn't really in the you know, public discourse is now being put on there. Um, and I think we're seeing a big effect with that. Um, you know, uh, as to how this is really going to impact Meta, um, there's always 
mm. government uh, kind of looks into these guys. There's obviously a lot of citizens uh, who form groups that talk about this. Nothing ever really changes. I've spoken about it a little bit before, the kind of sketchy territory we get into um, when we have some of these older folks in Congress who, uh, you, you know, just aren't familiar with how tech works, right? And they ask these questions, which are then kind of translated in media as like ignorant questions. But in reality, a lot of them are actually pretty valid. But the problem is, is the congressmen don't really know how to respond to some of the answers um, from some of these executives. This causes a major issue. Uh, so I don't see any legislature being passed. Of course, naturally, parents uh, should be more in control about what kids look at, so on and so forth. But this is a financial channel. And so we'll get off this topic now. But I just wanted to bring that to everyone's attention that now we have 33 states uh, are suing Meta. We'll take a look. We have a lot of earnings uh, tomorrow here. We have Microsoft. We have uh, Alphabet, uh, HSBC, Visa, and Coca-Cola. We can take a look at Coca-Cola. Um, they have done, uh, looks like they're going to do really well. Give me just one second. KO, that's what it is. So they're up about 3.18 today. Uh, it's raised their full year revenue forecast Tuesday after a stronger than expected third quarter. Uh, now expects its organic revenue will be up about 10% to 11% for the year. Uh, that's up eight, uh, excuse me, that's up from 8% to 9% guidance, Coke downs at the end of the second quarter. Uh, they expect earnings adjusted for currency variations uh, will grow about 13 to 14%, uh, which is pretty stellar for them. Uh, the shares obviously rose about 3%. Um, you've had like a pretty stark decline um, starting in July. It said its global case volumes rose 2% for July, September period. Coffee sales saw the strongest growth as demand uh, grew in the United Kingdom and China. Coca-Cola zero sugar sales were up 3% on growing demand in Latin America and North America. Of course, Latin America also suffers from uh, extreme obesity crises, just like the U.S. I think Mexico is now the most overweight um, country in the world. And so we're going to see a big movement towards uh, diet kind of drinks like that. Folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Uh, we're going to have Basil Chapman on, which is always great. He's going to give us a little guidance of uh, what's going on in the market. Folks, stay tuned. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat 